You can't fast track, fast track. That's a complete abdication of our responsibilities. Far too many of these trade agreements, particularly over the last 20 years, have subjected American workers to competition that is neither free nor fair. Why is it secret? Why is it that corporations all over this country have gotten a look at the trade deal, have given their views to the government on the trade deal, and yet the American public doesn't get to see it? I'm not going to support anything that undermines American sovereignty. I think it's time we slow down fast track. Trade Promotion Authority, or TPA, would prevent Congress from amending as much as one word of the rules he writes. A sweeping agreement the White House has been working toward for the past six years. Even if parameters were set beforehand, violations would be subject to an up or down vote with no amending permitted. Unlike a treaty, a simple majority is all that would be needed to pass. Incredibly, while Wall Street, the pharmaceutical industry, and major media companies have full knowledge as to what is in this treaty, the American people and members of Congress do not. They have been locked out of the process. Our predecessors took the consideration of this legislation much more deliberately. 1979, Senate Finance held two days of hearings on trade policy in advance of considering fast track. They held nine days of meetings with administration representatives on the substance, three days of consultation with Ways and Means. 1988, this committee held six days of legislating hearings on the Omnibus Trade Act. 2001, in anticipation of fast track legislation coming from the House, the committee held two days of hearings on that alone. Yet today we're meeting for a hearing that was noticed 12 hours before it began on a bill we haven't seen, who probably, with witnesses, I assume, who know more than we do, and frankly, Ambassador never tell us. Why? So we can rush through a bill that will expedite consideration of the largest trade agreement we've ever negotiated. Whenever Fast Track and other trade bills are finalized, this committee needs to have a legislative hearing on the package before we have a markup. I don't know if the ranking member and the chairman plan to do that. I haven't seen enough about what uh, TPP is going to look like in order to give Fast Track uh, TPA, so uh, I'm not going to vote for a, a trade authority um, without knowing a little bit more about what this looks like to protect the industries in my state. These bad trade agreements have lowered their wages and they've sent their jobs overseas. The minimum wage in Vietnam is 56 cents an hour, 56 cents an hour. And what this trade agreement says to American workers is you are now competing against people who in some cases will be working for 56 cents an hour. He has extended executive overreach, fun fumbled our foreign policy, debilitated our defense, and diminished our domestic tranquility. At least this time, the president asked to bypass Congress. People have told me, well, we can't make this public because if we made it public and the American people saw what was in this trade deal, they would be opposed to it. My view is if the American people would be opposed to it, then it should not pass. The TPP includes rules that will make it even easier for corporate America to outsource call centers, computer programming, engineering, accounting, and medical diagnostic, diagnostic jobs. Big multinational corporations, not workers. The TPP would undermine U.S. sovereignty by giving foreign corporations the right to challenge any law in this country that threatens their expected future profits before international tribunals.